this! Hey-ya! Hey-ya! Ho! Oh, sorry. I was just practicing my karate. You know, because we're all obsessed with Cobra Kai right now, I thought it would be a good idea to learn some moves in case a school soccer game turns into an all-out karate brawl. Because I'm still hanging around school soccer fields for some reason. Stop! Anyways, now that season three is over and we begin our agonizing wait for season four, there's one big question on our minds. When is the next Karate Kid, Julie Pierce, returning? Well, the stage seems set now more than ever. How, you ask? Well, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. What do you think that Julie Pierce is up to now? You think after the events of the next Karate Kid, she went the whole Johnny and Daniel route by obsessing over a fight that happened more than 30 years ago? Probably not. No, Julie had a similar yet different experience when it came to her relationship to both Miyagi and karate in general. She was angrier than Daniel was. My name is Julie. And her training with Miyagi helped her control that aggression. But what had she been doing all this time and how come we haven't heard about her yet? Daniel seems to talk about Miyagi every other second. So surely he must know about Julie Pierce, right? Sure, let's just go ahead and forget the behind the scenes stuff of the show, probably not mentioning Julie in the past because one, they weren't sure how long the show was gonna go, two, debating whether to bring in elements from the next Karate Kid, which was critically and commercially a failure, and three, deciding whether to pay that pricey Hillary Swank money to have her appear, and instead just focus on the story element. If Daniel hasn't mentioned Julie at all before, there might be a chance that he had no idea of her existence, which opens the door to Daniel learning even more about his mentor in the coming seasons. But overall, would adding Julie into the story work right now? I say absolutely. Season three ended with Daniel and Johnny finally squashing their rivalry and agreeing to work together to take down the evil Kreese once and for all. I'm sure Johnny and Daniel will annoy each other as they train their students differently, but I think Daniel needs a new frenemy overall. And Julie would not only shake up the dynamic between Daniel and Johnny, but she might just hold the key to defeating Kreese forever. So how would this work? Well, the way I see it, Julie can bring two major things to the table. The first is her knowledge of Miyagi-Do. Julie originally learned from her father, who turned out to be Miyagi's very first student years before Daniel, and had a basic understanding that Miyagi helped mold. We might be in a situation next season where Daniel is having trouble adapting to Johnny's more aggressive style of teaching and can't find a way to really work with him. Talking with someone like Julie could help him realize that you can still do Miyagi-Do and still have an aggressive stance in life. It's kind of what Chosen taught Daniel this season, and for Julie to appear and drive home that point would allow Daniel to grow more as a character. Plus, speaking of growth, Julie would definitely force Daniel to confront the Miyagi legacy. For years, Daniel has thought he was Miyagi's star pupil, and it's his responsibility to continue on those teachings. Finding out there's someone like Julie, who Miyagi also taught, would push Daniel into new territory. Like, let's play out a fun scenario right now. Best case, Julie is running her own karate dojo somewhere on the East Coast and instilling the principles that Miyagi taught her to the next generation. Plus, if we're still talking best scenario, Julie could bring her dojo to the West Coast to participate in the All-Valley Tournament and help Miyagi-Do defeat Cobra Kai. How cool would it be to see Johnny, Daniel, and Julie all together and encouraging their students to succeed? But what if she doesn't practice karate anymore? Maybe she went off and had a successful career somewhere and only practices her karate on special occasions. Could she still be important? Absolutely. If that's the case, then Julie could teach both Daniel and Johnny that it's okay to move on from the past. Karate may have been a big part of her life when she was younger and it helped her with her anger, but she was able to transition into a healthy adult life. I do think sometimes that's a lesson that both Daniel and Johnny need to learn. So having Julie be the one to teach it would be pretty perfect. But I guess before we go any further talking about how Julie can completely shake up Cobra Kai, we gotta ask ourselves that all important question. Do the creators even want to bring Julie up? Uh, based on their comments, I would say yes. John Hurwitz, one of the co-creators, has gone on record saying that every movie Miyagi has appeared in is officially canon, and they're always looking for ways to bring in characters from all of the films. This definitely is in reference to Julie Pierce, and Hurwitz said they have discussed the character before. But we'll have to wait and see if she'll return in the series. Which to me sounds like code for, when we were making the show on YouTube Red, there was no way we could afford Hilary Swank's Hollywood salary. All right. But now that the show is a major critical and commercial success for new home Netflix, this really shouldn't be a problem. 
Now that the show has proven to have legs, it can continue exploring all elements of the Miyagi-verse and build out a new story with Julie to both honor the character and also use her to help drive the story forward. That sounds like a win-win to me. So if I was a betting man, which I sometimes am, I would imagine we will definitely get a Julie Pierce appearance before the show hangs up its karate belt for good. Now, I know Christmas isn't for a while, but if I could ask for just one thing, I would love to see Daniel, Johnny, and Julie take on Kreese and potentially Mike Barnes in an epic showdown. Come on, that would be amazing. Make it happen, Cobra Kai. Okay, I know that all this talk is about Julie, but I'm still holding out hope that somehow Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith can pop up somewhere and just utterly break the universe's time-space continuum. Maybe we could even have a karate versus kung fu fighting match. It'd be amazing. All right, fine, that might be a little bit too much, but a guy can dream, right? 